Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is uh, how to create VST connections. If you go up to uh, devices and go down and click VST connections, uh, you can also hit F4. It'll bring up a dialog that looks like this. Um, I'm under the inputs tab right now and you'll see below bus name. I've got a stereo bus coming in. Uh, yours may differ depending on your system. I'm going to go ahead and delete that just to show you how to add a bus. Um, if you click add bus, I'm going to change configuration to stereo and leave count at one because you only want to create one. Click OK. I'm going to add another one, uh, add a mono one, leave count at one once again. And uh, you can change the names of these, you can change the device ports, um, the audio devices, and we already chose uh, how many speakers it's going through. I'm going to change uh, the name of stereo in to, um, uh, just to uh, test stereo, just so I can show you what's going on. Um, if you come down here and click on an audio track to the left, you'll see in, and it'll say no bus. If you click uh, no bus, you'll see it says test stereo and mono in. And that's the same as uh, the inputs over here that I just created, the buses that I added. Um, you can do the same thing for outputs and uh, also for studio. Studio is just for auditioning tracks um, without effects. Uh, but uh, you may be wondering what the reason for this is. Um, if you've got multiple sound cards or if you've got um, multiple inputs, if you've got a lot of different instruments, you can uh, create uh, these bus names so that you can switch between them very easily when you're going to record a lot of different tracks.